Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? It's Legomation Studio back at it with another Bionicle 2015 set review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Onua, Master of Earth, one of my favorite Toa. Let's see if he lives up to the hype. Now, before I go on to reviewing this, I just want to mention that it's been a long time since I've done Bionicle reviews. I mean, it's been almost five years. So I've been receiving some comments in the comment section saying that I sound unprofessional, unprepared. And I just want to say, guys, I'm trying to get into the swing of things. So I apologize if I've been wrong about some pieces and where they come from. Because I didn't even buy any of the more recent Hero Factory sets. So there's possibility I could slip up here and there. But for the most part, you guys know my reviews. I just go into depth about my opinions on it, first and foremost, with no opening of the box beforehand, like completely fresh. I try to not watch other reviews, so that way it doesn't change my own opinion on these sets. So as much as you guys uh, support me, which is great, but there have been a couple people who have complained in me not calling Hero Factory the CCBS system, or that, you know, I say totally awesome, or that's totally cool too much, and it's like, you guys know my reviews by now, you know, I'll try to get better and better with all these guys as I go on, but I'm doing my best, and some of you guys have left me some great criticism by just saying, here's the way you could improve, you know, great review, but here's a couple comments, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear, but when people keep going on saying I sound moronic, or like I have a cold and I just sound terrible and unprofessional, it's like, where are you guys coming from? I've always had a very stuffy nose, my sinus problems aren't going away anytime soon, and I like to just talk to you guys as if you're my friends, which could, I guess, sound annoying to some people. I'm not all about that five minute review, quick cuts, quick edits, show you what it is, get in and out really quick. No, I like to talk to you guys. I like to explain everything I like about the set. And so that's the way my reviews go. If you like that, thanks so much. I know there's a majority of support out there, but there's still some people who just don't understand the way I review. So, thanks to all of you guys who are the good fans out there, the ones that really support, and those of you who have given me some good criticism, thank you. I'll try to include that in this review. Now, without further ado, sorry for the delay, let's get on to Onua, Master of Earth. We have the average box with the indented size, which look very cool and give it a less of a Lego box look and a more kind of canister vibe that we've always had with Bionicle. Onua is in a cavern, obviously, in his homeland. There's a bunch of stalactites falling from the ceiling. Just looks very cool, like he's underground, and that's his, the idea of Onua that we all appreciate. There's some riding in the background. We have him fighting off a skull spider, probably jumping out of the way of these falling stalactites. He has a mask of gold. He's for ages 8 to 14. And he has 108 pieces. That is a whopping size compared to Tahu. Tahu only had 89 pieces. With Onua, we have almost 20 more pieces. That's crazy. They're the same price. Wow. If you really want amount of pieces, you get Onua. So we have Lego Bionicle at the top. It all looks awesome. On the back, we have a quick cartoon of Onua from the online animations where he puts on the golden mask and receives his ultimate power, combining his claws and taking care of those skull spiders and saving a village protector. We have Onua here with the functions of shifting the gears and moving his arms, the ability to put on the mask, the other ability to put on a skull spider and have him get controlled by evil. We have the combination option here with his protector, which looks really awesome there. And yeah, so Let's get in this box and check out the awesome amount of pieces. Awesome. Great. Three bags instead of just two. There's a lot of pieces in here. Oh my god! No! Stickers! Curse you, Lego. <laughs> Okay, well we got the instruction booklet, open it up, we have the animation but in the bigger images there, very cool. We have organizing of the pieces, how to build it all, the average instructions. You can go online and uh, find the combination model on lego.com slash bionicle. And then it shows all six 
Toa right there. The Masters in full form. Very cool. Alright, so here are the awesome new claws. These diggers that kind of will come together to create some awesome weapons. Now, they aren't like the classic Onua Mata claws that are just black, but they give them a more weaponized vibe and a very cool silver weapon, which these look like they can definitely do some serious damage, so very awesome new pieces there, Lego. Now, I don't know if these feet are new or not. Once again, I haven't bought any Hero Factory sets in a while, so if these came out with Hero Factory, let me know. But I'm looking at them, and I'm pretty sure they're brand new. Which is interesting why they would make a new mold for Onua's feet, but not for Tahu or Gali's feet. I don't know why they decided to do that. But if these are new, these are very cool. And they give Onua that Onua vibe that almost, these almost look like his hands, his uh, claws with the Mata version. I really like these feet. If they're brand new, they're kind of like the Protector's feet. Uh, but in a more enlarged version, and I know that the Protector's feet had been released with Hero Factory sets. So, just in the comments, let me know if these feet are new or not. Alright, we got a bunch of gold armor, like what we got with Tahu. Very nice. We have some Hero Factory armor in black, in silver, and uh, in purple. Am I a fan of the purple? <sighs> you know, we'll see once we build him. I'm gonna not make too many opinions just yet. But we got four of those. We get some translucent CCBS pieces. These bionicle limbs now. They came with the Hero Factory limbs. And uh, I love translucent pieces. We only got two of those though in purple. We'll see how that all comes together. Some black CCBS system parts. And uh, a Hero Factory body piece. And then just, you know, some more limbs. Some more CCBS limbs. Then we got some more Black Hero Factory armor. Now we have two Glatorian hands here in black, which is nice. The new torso piece for all these Toa that give them the gear functions. Very cool. Uh, some Hero Factory feet piece right here, but I'm sure it's used probably not for a foot, but for something else. We have the, like what we had with Tahu, the green, light green uh, Skull Spider mask. Here are the Skull Spider legs, which I found out are actually brand new pieces. The new head piece. Uh, a bunch of small pieces, small technic pieces, arm pieces. We get this small piece right here that we got with Tahu, which helps with the arm and foot support in order for him to be more balanced and stand up straight. And then uh, the translucent eye piece. And then just some more, look at this, classic Technic pieces, which I love to see in these sets. Another gold piece. All right, gears. You know how it is. And uh, here we got the masks. I'll go over them in more detail once we build them, but I gotta say I love it. This looks a lot like the classic old Onua mask that we had in 2001. So I'm really happy to see these two masks. One in gold, one in black. Perfect. Well guys, you know what time it is. It's time to see this guy come together in fruition. Let's build him in three, two, one. This is also the new chest piece right here I forgot to mention. 
Obviously, it was one that came with a couple of the jumbo versions of Hero Factory Heroes. It has the Hero Core piece right there where you would put it on. But it's pretty nice, pretty big, and jumbo like what Onua should be. We have these indents inside, and uh, yeah, pretty slick, pretty clean. Of course, we're sadly going to have to put some stickers on it, but that's the chest piece we get with Onua. by my hammer. So here he is, Onua, the glorious master of Earth. What did I think of the building experience? Wow, I loved building Onua. Even more so than any other toy I've built yet. That's Tahu, Golly, no, Onua steals the cake. Now, I'll talk about his presentation later, Quickly, just some stuff about building. There's a lot to get into with the Nua. We can start with his weapon, which is different from any other weapon we've built so far. On the inside, there's a bunch of Technic pieces keeping it together. If we can get, zoom in here, you can see that you had to really kind of create his weapon with a bunch of other small pieces. It wasn't just two large pieces that went together, you know? There was just a lot of cool working in there in order to get his entire hammer piece to look really cool. So thank you for that Lego. We can go even to more detail by opening up his chest piece. We used every single ball joint that's on this Hero Factory torso. Um, unlike uh, with Tahu, I believe even Golly too, we had these two ball joints just sitting there. Well for Onua, we use every single one. On the inside, we have two of these claws that act as his shoulder blades and they connect in through these pieces right here. That was really nice, very cool Lego, awesome work there. On the back, you can see that this was different than Tahu because his arms are extended beyond just the gears. If you can zoom in, we see that his right arm is connected with, there's a ball in there, and a rod that goes all the way through, and then this Technic piece with axles through it that give him a lot of tension, so you can raise his arm up as high as you want, and it won't fall, and you can still completely use the gear function however you want, and it just gives him a lot of support. On this side too, you can see that we have an axle coming out and pointing out, and uh, it's really, it's different, you know, we have that old Mata hand piece here, but here we have a Technic piece with an axle rod through it. So really, completely different build from any of the other Toa that we've had. And I like to see that, that each set is built differently. Even though maybe some of the pieces are the same, it's built differently. And you definitely get that here with Onua. This arm, completely different, very cool. You can see these support pieces, these mini pieces are on his arms and his legs, which is very nice. So he got, he's got a lot of support, you know, Onua's a heavy guy, so he needs all those pieces he can get. Building was a good time, I didn't ever like find myself bored at all, and that's what I really like about these new sets. It's not just about adding all the Hero Factory armor, it's also about those gears and all the internal movements and the build up of his weapon. Now, for playability, 
We start at the bottom, we'll look at his legs. They're a little short, but because we know Onua being the shorter one of the Toa, it totally is fine. His feet move, he has movement at his knee as well, and at his thighs. And there's a lot of support with these pieces right here, so we got three points of articulation with his legs, which are the perfect amount, that's how much humans have. <laughs> with his arms, we have his hand, one point, his elbow, one point, his shoulder, one point, and then, of course, that fourth movement with the gears. Yeah, look at that go. Oh my god, I love it. So, a lot of movement in his right arm. His left arm, one in his hand, one in his elbow, one in his shoulder, and again, the gear function. So, technically, four points of articulation in both arms. I love that. Kids will love playing with Onua. I don't see why not. Nothing is dangling, nothing is in the way. You can totally give the gear function by just boom. Oh yeah. He's ready to hammer out anything he needs to. These arms are going to stay in whatever position you put them in, no matter what. Love it. Great design, Lego. He is through and through a very awesome set to play with. Kids are going to love taking out Onua and putting him in a battle with their friends, Toa, because he'll probably withstand a pretty good chance. He's got this, blocking people from going for his mask. Very awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I would have liked to see just more black, and I know they tried to incorporate purple too. I feel like it's a bit of a distraction. I know that there's crystals underneath uh, Okoto, which are purple, and that's the idea of where Onua comes from, and especially in his protector, once we review the protector. So maybe if they'd taken off some of the gold and just, I don't know, I can't say that, because there's gold on almost every character. But, like, there was none on, like, Golly, so why could there just be none on Onua, or just give them as optional pieces? I would have rather just, you know, take this off. I honestly kind of prefer that. I mean... You know, he just doesn't... We could have got these in other colors. He just doesn't need the gold. It really detracts from his black and purple color scheme. The only translucent pieces are right here in his legs, so I don't really get what the point was of that. I would have liked to see more translucent pieces, you know, in his arms. So, you know, it could give him that feeling of energy underneath all of his armor. The chest piece stickers again. It's just like Legos being lazy, and I don't like to see that. I'd like to see them to put more work into the actual design, you know? These hammers had little pistons and designs in them. Why couldn't they have just gone in and made a chess piece with a bunch of cool awesomeness? This makes him look like a cartoon. It dumbs him down, and it makes Lego look lazy. That's why I don't like the stickers. And you guys say that these aren't stickers, like what came with Golly? Well, it is, it's just you didn't have to put it on yourself. But it's still a cartoon sticker, and I just don't like the vibe that it gives. It makes him feel cartoony and less real and less alive. So that's my complaint about the cons, but everything else is really good. The weapon, perfect. Hammer, awesome. You can take it apart and he can use them as claws. So let's compare the masks over the years. Well, here we have Onua Mata from 2001. It's a very famous bionicle face in general too. With the Nuva masks, they tried to make them look very biological and very kind of different. And when I first got this mask, I thought it was so huge and bulky and clunky. I mean, I liked it a lot, but it was definitely different from the original. You had pistons near his mouth, and all these ridges that were added. Um, and none of the holes in his mask like there are so many in the original 2001 one. So, they were actually quite different. Dramatically so. Then we head to the Miska 2008, and... Wow, totally different. You know, there are some small similarities. This top part is kind of similar to what we have throughout Onua's masks. His eyes, though, and his nose are completely different. But his mask has always been kind of flat, and they definitely got that down in this mask. But it's almost like extremely flat, as you remember. So there wasn't a lot of Onua resembled in this as much as even there was in the Nuva mask. But then, we get to 2015, and boy, did they get this right. Let's take away the two middle masks, and just compare these two. Side by side, they're very similar. Now, 
Of course, the newer mask is somewhat smaller, I have to say, which is interesting because the Toa in 2001 are actually smaller size than what we're having with these 2015 sets, yet their masks in 2015 are smaller than their masks from 2001. Odd choice, Lego. Although, I'm sure they messed around with the sizes of the masks with the new Onua and found that this size is the best. But yeah, a lot of similarities between these masks. You know, 14 years in the making and you have the similar ridges on the top, similar pieces on the even on the side, the way it kind of squishes on the middle of his face. Then the mouthpiece is the similar and then his breathing vents on the side are pretty much the same. I mean, it sure is updated, smaller, and squished around a little bit. It's totally different from Golly's change. Her mask looks so different, but for Anua, just like what we have with Tahu, the mask is very resembling of the old, classic 2001 Takua slash Anua mask that we got. So, I really like that Lego. The mask is awesome. Good work on that. Okay, every version of Onua released over the past 14 years. Here's the comparison. As you see, they definitely got bigger in size. With the Mystica, so much silver. But as with you, we have with the two original, there's a lot of similarities with that dark gray and the black. Now as we head on further, what 2015 got right was that hunchbacked kind of shortness. Because as you can see, the 2015 model is shorter than the Mystica model. I really liked Onua Mystica because he had the chest piece, and uh, a lot of armor, which was different from the Mr. Katahu. And his weapon wasn't really representative of what Onua is known for. This is just a giant big blaster. And with the first Onua, we got the claws. Second Onua, we got the blades that he can put on his feet and kind of slide around earth. And uh, they're kind of shredders, like chainsaws, which are kind of odd, but still somewhat Onua-ish. But by the time we got to Mystica, definitely not an Onua-like weapon. But with the new Onua, we get these awesome giant hammer and claws that uh, he can hold. And I really like that function. It, you know, kind of combines the best of both worlds of the first two. The Mystica Toa, or Fantaka, as we'll get into the other guys, are of course very different. And, you know, when they came out with these guys, they weren't really trying to resemble the old Toa nearly as much as they are now with the 2015 boys. Lego changed over the years. It's just a really kind of nice glance at all the sets. There you go. Alright, so any other things you need to know about Onua? Well, there is the claw function. We can go ahead and do that right now. As you can see, what you do is you're going to kind of take apart his hammer like so. Take his hammer out of his hand, attach it to the peg on his back, like so. And then, you have his hammer on his back, very nice. Now you take apart the hammer, like so, and you can attach his claws to his hands, just like that. And, uh, really gives him the old Onua digging clawing function that we loved. Just like that. Alright. Sweet. So I love that. Lego gives you a lot of options with Onua in playability and posability and uh, that really makes him one of my favorite of the Toa released this year. Um, they're $19.99 which is different from the $14.99 sets by about five bucks so you know you are gonna get a lot more pieces for your money if you pick up an Onua. My pros are pretty much in the build and the amount of pieces that come with him so you get a lot of really cool stuff. My cons are really just the gold and some of the purple might have worked better if it was more well dispersed. I don't know it's very small because in general this really is a great figure. The stickers too didn't really like that. But besides that, there's a lot more pros that outweigh the cons. He's representative of the old kind of hunchback Onua that we know and love. The claws are really awesome. Just in general, I would rate Onua, the 2015 version, a, of course, 5 out of 5. 
out of 10, I'd give him an 8 out of 10. Because the only small thing that's taking away from him is really the stickers and a little bit of the gold. But that's so minuscule when in fact he really does represent a lot of Onua. And he really is just an awesome figure in general that comes with a lot of really cool new pieces. So that's what I think. Comment below. Let me know, guys, what you think of Onua. But I absolutely love this figure. Go out and buy him. And I'll be soon back with a review of the Protector of Earth. Until next time, this is LEGO Mation Studio. You know what I say. Signing out. Oh, Noah. Oh, Noah. Oh, Noah.